And this devastating train wreck in Washington has ties to California and even here in Sacramento. CBS 13's Drew Balea continues our team coverage in the studio now to explain this. Drew? Well, this new high speed train was making its first trip on a newly constructed high speed rail when the crash happened. That train was made right here in Sacramento. It's equipped with specific safety features to prevent some accidents. Features, though, not yet activated on the trains. The new high speed train had only been in Washington state for less than six months when it went off the tracks. Siemens confirming the locomotive was built at their mobility plant in Sacramento. So this is becoming a major hub for advanced manufacturing, particularly of these uh, transit vehicles. The Washington Department of Transportation purchased eight of the high speed trains to move along their Cascades corridor. Siemens Sacramento plant also manufactured 175 light rail cars for San Francisco's municipal transit system. The locomotives are more efficient, can travel at higher speeds, and are equipped with a safety feature called positive train control. Former head of the NTSB, Deborah Hirschman, explains. Positive train control is GPS-based technology that knows if trains are going to collide with one another or if trains are speeding over what's permitted in that section of track. And so it keeps the train from potentially derailing if they go too fast for conditions. The technology was mandated to be installed in all trains following the death of 17 people when a freight train collided with a commuter rail in Southern California in 2008. But Congress delayed the mandated installation for three years until 2018. It's really too early to tell if positive train control could have prevented this derailment because we don't know what caused the derailment. SB and other investigators are on the scene now. Likely there's more than 100 people who are there investigating this wreck. I'm also told that it could take nearly a year for the investigation to be fully completed. As for I-5, it's likely to still be closed at the crash site through tomorrow. They have a lot of work to do there, a lot of investigating before we get to those answers. Such a horrible crash. All right, Drew, thank you.